Sia bingelelo bingelelo bapu tohotel bapu isu zbao chaprile. Sisa benzela etiagwini umkakwe sikuwa na Queen Street and Albert Street. Sisa built in so-called Net Bank House Building 19 Floor Suit 1904 to 1905. Our current situation now we are situated at Dark Room Studio number one. Thank you very much. Greetings to our viewers at home. Smigela o baba o mama o sisi in the name of Babu Togotela. Babu Mamalala. Babu Togotela, welcome. Tobela. Baso chubare dumela ndati. Mrena. No, Babu Togotela, today I want us to discuss so many items. But let us first and foremost discuss the issue of a man who is owing so many banks. Such to such an extent that it's only his wife who's got a card. Whenever you want to pay him a money, the money should fire the wife's the, the wife's bank. <laughs> How do you help that man, Baptist Hotel? Thank you very much. It's a good question. It's a one way or another. Sometimes you find that that woman of God, woman of the power, woman of the hour, uh, she's been corrupted otherwise. She's the anointed one. Yes, yes, hey, yes my yes, God. Yes. Uh, she's so uh, uh, corrupted by the devil in a sense that she lost everything. All banks are, are on credit in a sense that she cannot put any money in bank. The reason why, whatever goes there, it gets captured. Mm. It happened to, <clears throat> to our brothers as well and sons that they come so desperate in a sense that they make loans, multiple loans in different banks Otherwise, compensation till, loan. Yes, till yeah. the banks cannot afford to to give them anything, and the banks are waiting for them to bring money in. Mm. Now, what happens is, the banks has to freeze the accounts, or they have to wait for them to put money so that they'll debit mm. the money immediately. And then you find the person ending up using the spouse account. Sure. But when you do that to use the spouse account, all the times before you use this money, you must declare. What do you want to use it for? Because the child did not pay the school fee last month mm. and then your electricity bill still has to be paid. This money is too much for you. What are you going to do? And then the deal that you have undergone through, if it didn't go well, you'll be killed. If it didn't go well, you have to refund the money. But now you cannot tell your wife everything. How did you make this money? Yeah, that's true. Now we are talking to someone who says, Babu Tawatela, I can no longer host my money. I need to stand up again, to bounce back like a rap again. Mm. Uh, if I'm talking to you as a mother, your money, the account that you use, it is your sister's account. Your, your sister knows everything now. Even that you are selling with your body and then the client is paying with EFT, now your sister will know. Mm. And then there are things that you have to do with private. You need to, uh, your private space. If I'm talking to a person who has so much debt, or corrupted by the banks otherwise, I think we have to meet. We have to meet in a serious level. Uh, bring something serious. Mm. Bring something serious. Not the money that you put in your wallet. No, no, no. Just bring something serious. I'll make sure that I pull you out. I will exalt you out from the situation. Babu Tawadela says, come and talk to me on one-on-one. -on -one. We can do something about it. No, I hope our people are taking notes because uh, truly they are heavily indebted and uh, poverty is crippling our society. Before about that, now let us move to the issue of savings. Uh, you are encouraging people to stop saving for their children. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit your question. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing that. You just said to me, you are encouraging people to stop saving for that. Instead, they must save for their grandchildren. It, it, it sounds a bit rhetorical, but I'm sure you are going to <laughs> give us some clarity. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Let me talk to someone who's got like two children. Just two. Just two children. You have accumulated so much wealth. Your firstborn finished at metric. The second one could not finish at, at FET. <laughs> and then both, they're sharing two children each. Now you've got four grandchildren and two children. Mm. You've got four grandchildren. And two kids. And two kids mm. on your own, <clears throat> as your own. Anything that you have accumulated, these children that you brought on earth, your biological kids, they are aware, they are conscious about your wealth. 
Mm. They started to argue about it. Started to ask your mother about it, how you're gonna divide this. Mm. They need to know this flat who's gonna take this, that complex who's gonna do this. Now I'm talking to that kind of a parent, the, pa- the parent who has worked so much. But take uh, let's go back to your children. Your children, when we are fighting with their mother, they're the one who stand in between and then they shout at your back. They just refuse to respect you. They expect you to give answers to them. You do not deserve to give answers to children. You, you are not answering to them, exactly. Yes, you give no uh, answers. You are not taking questions from a child. And then what I'm saying to you as a parent, I'm a parent as well. This is not about theoretical. And then else from now, start to look at these children as a failure, as a renegade kids, as kids who don't want to use wealth in order to study, to learn more about what is happening in case you pass so that they can have something, live alone that the father has so much wealth or the mother has so much wealth, but they don't want to study. They are always seated at bay. They're always on YouTube. They're always on social media. They drive your cars. They smash your cars. And then they know that the father will always repair and take another company car. And people like those, make sure that speak to your lawyer. Divide everything for your grandchildren. They must get zero. They must get zero. Mm. So that their children, when they grow up, they will have something that is left by a grandmother or grandfather. Because these things that you so called our kids, they don't respect us anymore. And people who still respect us are so called grandchildren. When you come, they run into the car. Exactly. Yes, when you come, they run into the car. Whatever you do in a garden, they're always surrounding you. They're always wanting to help you. And then the one day to so-called kids, if you ask them to bring you something, the, the, the way they were going to take it and put it there, I don't know why my father, if he knows that you'll be needing it, he should have taken it. Sure. And then their mother will be so embarrassed to, to hear the children talking like this to their father. But if we are saying that to your grandchild, wow, he will be, she'll be running to fetch that, smiling and ready to do and, and get more if you need more. Exactly. That is why we have to understand people who respect us and people who adore us. People who really love us, adore us, respect us. It is our grandchildren. Stop hating your grandchildren. They are the favor of God. They are the fruit of God. This is how you know that God has blessed you because you have grown up in a sense that now we've got a grandchild. And then whatever that you give it by God as a bonus, for the fact that you've got kids, it is a gift. But grandchildren are the bonus. And then make sure that you can spend your money, but bonus, you have to use it for yourself because the, the company has given you this bonus. It's up to you how you spend it. But the salary... It is shared by the family, but the bonus, it is so precious because not everyone has a bonus. Most of us, we don't have grandchildren. But to, to, to those or to us who's got grandchildren, we must start to focus, to nature them, school them well, start to take care of them. Rather than spending money to these kids who are so disobedient to their mother, even, it, even to me as a father, Make sure that we let's start to divide whatever I've got to these grandchildren. Babu Dawuda says, look after your grandchildren. It's a gift from God. Thank you. That was a, a jaw-dropping advice. Yes, yes, yes. yes <laughs> yeah, yes. because our kids think they are entitled. They're entitled by law. <laughs> exactly, yeah. They are entitled to your properties, yes. your cars and all. Well, we will never finish that one because as we speak, people are getting emotional about the subject. <laughs> it's a very emotional one. Yes. Now, Bob Tawatena, as we speak, someone out there wants to be a guest in your studio. What is your message to those people? There are business people, in youngers, uh, all types of businesses who want to advertise. Is it still open? There are two models of advertising. There's one that we do with telepathy. Yes. Uh, telephone advertising or satellite advertising. That mm. is okay. That is fine. But anyone who's going to be coming to sit in our studio, we just froze that uh, opportunity till next year. Okay. Because we just want to rearrange because most of our people who come here, 
they claim that they they can do this knowing very well they cannot do it sure. and then that all bounce back to us they some people they've got so called card oil and then only find out that people deposit money and there's no card oil uh, delivered and it all bounce back to us some people they claim that they've got so called is it called or hard a place where they do their practice only mm. find out they don't have endomben endomben they don't have those things and then oh. people they claim that they've been mentored by certain youngers when you infiltrate that younger that younger knows that person is a patient oh god and then because you've been <laughs> don't laugh <laughs> because you've been consulting that old man for too long and then you started to wear e buy and then claim that oh me too i'm a younger i can do this too because you've been collecting money from that old man when mm. when you when you reach out to that old man the old man says no i know that person is my client he buys a lot of motors here but i didn't know that is a it's a patient he's only a client <laughs> now those people like that we are trying to filter out filter out filter out filter so that will end up having with executive clients people that you you can tangible uh, because some of them we even ask whether we can go in your place and do a video shooting yes yes, yes. they said no because there's no place to go there is no place to go sure and now we need to execute all those people and remain with people that we know that can be trusted with this practice babu dotter babu sir go job please thank you babu dotter we are cleaning our house now yes <laughs> now what let's talk about the zakat i remember at some point you asked for a, a, a simple car standard car yeah just chinese car a chinese car now there is a new testimony <laughs> <laughs> let me be honest to everybody yes. <clears throat> i did make a, a pledge for a zakat i said there are serious businessmen <clears throat> and women of god yes that are in practice but their business it is started to decay it in scientific term the quality starting to oxidize what it mm. means of this it starts to rust All right. started to rust there are new no new clients coming only clients that are regular you don't develop new jobs you only working with what you've got mm. and then you are not uh, orbiting you are just spinning when you orbit you spin but you turn around all of but when you just spin not orbiting it's different because mm. spinning in one place we are not growing as so sure. in order for them to grow they must release as a cut as a cut it's something that you cannot afford but you have to work for it so that you can a- a- able to to give it through uh, i did my my zakat i did my zakat i don't regret it i did my zakat i identified some people and i built some houses for them yes i i did my zakat in, but I, i'm not allowed to tell to who because once i start to tell that is no longer in zakat anymore oh. uh, i did my zakat i don't regret it uh, after doing the zakat i made almost 800000 i don't mind having so much money mm. then the the car that i was pledging it was p series white in color just a van 10 speed gearbox gwm i was i insisted that do not bring rolls royce don't bring something fancy mm. and people they've been so defined and obedient uh, they refused to bring me that they they brought me cls 500 mercedes benz and the german it, machine it's a german machine <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's one of the powerful cars i did not ask for it Sure. And now I'm in a position in position of something that I cannot afford because I knew that there's no need for you to sacrifice a zakat with a such an expensive car. Mm. People they'll see that on YouTube just now that car I'll take pictures and then show it to them. But surely about the hotel it was from the abundance of the heart. Oh yes, yes. The yes, man yes. was beaming with joy. Yes, If it's a man, yes, I'm not sure yes. if it's a man or a woman, but the, yes, client yeah, the client was full of yes. joy, yeah. And they brought that car CLS 500 black in color, twin <coughs> exhaust, and then they'll see it, they'll see it. It's one of the fastest range of uh, from Mercedes Benz, but literally I do have my I've got A class, C class, I do have Mercedes Benz. Mm. Yeah, I've got Porsche, I've got Discovery, I've got Range Rover. I've got like 15 cars but I did not ask for something so expensive. Mm. Uh, which means if it is you do not try to compete with this client who sacrifices zakat with a CLS Mercedes Benz. I still pledging for something low so that when I exalt to when I invoke these powers around you you must be deposit something that is powerful but you don't give mm. don't have to give something expensive. just chinese car a van it's okay 
double cap, 10 speed. Gearbox must be 10 speed. I need something fast. Sure. I need something fast. I need something fast. Serious mm. fast. Not just a, a workhorse van. No, no, no. I need something really fast. Yeah, not in construction. <laughs> <laughs> not in construction. Yeah, like this CLS. Hey, this thing is a machine. Wow. <laughs> ah, yeah, this thing is a machine. Yeah. Double it's fireworks. <laughs> Thank you very much, Doctor. Now, Bob Doctor, let's talk about friends. Um, there are friends who are toxic, if not all of them. Who brings? I think all of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let me leave it to you, Doctor. Like yes, yes. <laughs> lecture about lecture us about friends. There is nothing wrong with your friend. What yes. is wrong is a poverty. Sure. Having friends and rich, it's beautiful. I mean, like, really beautiful. But poverty, people do not understand poverty. Poverty, it is one of the spirits that submit to Lucifer. Mm. People just understand, do not understand. Poverty is a spirit on its own. Sure. That is obedience to Lucifer. It's the same thing as blessings. Blessings, a spirit on its own, that is so obedient to God. Sure. The, the, they are like this. Poverty mm. and, and, and blessings are not the same thing. They are not coming from the same source. And they are competing to each other. When we are blessed, poverty will attack you. Yes. When we are poor, blessings will hunt you. Because they want to bless you because you are poor. So mm. the poverty will leave. Sure. They, they, don't, they, they fight over your body. Mm. Till you sacrifice your, your, your body to something else. Either to poverty or to the blessings of the Most High God. Yes. Yes. Because there are God, but we are not high. You have to know. Of that. course, there are many. If gods. in Enanda there is two gods, I think. I mean, there's one God. Quick one. You find quick one God. When you carry on another God, quick one. Yeah. They're too close. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Lana, I mean, there's one God. Quick one. We find one God. Exactly. And when you carry on, there's another God. And you carry on driving. Find gods, 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 gods. In India, there are, there are many gods. In, in India. Last time, 10 years, no, 15 years ago, when we were doing study of mythology, mm. we came to a resolution that India had 130 million gods. Sure. 130 million gods. Yes, yes. Yeah, in India alone. So many gods. That is why we always exalt the most high God. Exactly. Then yeah. poverty, let's correct the spelling. Poverty, when it comes, number one, poverty is not stupid. I did say that poverty is a spirit that is obedient to Lucifer. Mm. When it comes, it will come into you because poverty is weak. It knows that you can eject it or reject it at any time. Mm. And poverty will recruit people around you, so-called friends and girlfriends. Let me call it spelling. Friends and, and girl. girlfriends. Poverty requires you to have girlfriends at least. One, two, three, four. You but must, in po each you must be popular with girls yes, somehow. Yes, in each and every township you must have someone. Yes. Guamashu, Sebukengi, but you must have girlfriends. You are a, a poor version of King Solomon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thereafter, the same spirit will recruit friends, male friends. Those male friends and these girlfriends, they will be, be recruited to make sure that you remain in poverty. You mm. remain poor. Mm. You remain in poverty. We are not making any plans to leave poverty. Because your friends, they will make sure that the first one to come in your house to take you out for drinking. Definitely. Even if you have no money. Then, then you'll drink for free. Eesh. You'll drink for free. Even if you don't have a car, they'll give you a lift. Because they just want to execute you from anything that will cause you to be not poor anymore. Mm. Because anything that will delay your mind from thinking about something and start to study, start to make research. No, and poverty doesn't like that. Mm. Poverty doesn't like that. Because when you are poor, poverty always prefer not to remain with your wife most of the time. Because your wife will start to enlighten you about things that can change the situation in the house. But mm. your friends doesn't like that. And they even call that to Shula Umvaz. Scared of your wife. You are weak. You are just weak. Mm. You don't wear a skirt as well. And then that is why we are saying poverty brings people around you. And then since you are poor, you want Babu Dawadala to help with Moti uh, to elevate for. What about your friends? What about... People do not undermine poverty. Poverty, it is so careful in a sense that even if you're coming to for a consultation, a poverty will identify a man to follow to to track you. Mm. And then people that come with friends here for consultation, don't make it knowing very well that 
poverty and friends, it comes together. A, a poverty will always bind with a person who's going to be monitoring you, tracking you. Whatever you do, if you're going to Mozambique, he said, no, I'm also following you. Let's go. Let's go. Going to John, oh, uh, let's go. I want to see John's friend. Come to eh, nah, let's go. Because this friend has been recruited by Lucifer. Mm. He's been look, uh, 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 recruited by the most high demons. To keep you trapped. To keep you trapped. Not doing anything constructive. Sure. Your friends, your friends on social media are not the friends of charismatic purpose. Mm. Your friends on, on social media are friends who are waiting you to watch you when you start to climb the corporate ladder. And same friends on social media, they start to throw bad words so that you will demand immediately. Exactly. And you've got to be careful about friends all over. Your friends who visit you at, in your house, this is not a, a visiting house. This is not a, res, a, a reception. You don't have to allow friends to visit you in your presence with where the, your wife and kids stays. Because we are a man. Because you we, can meet at a restaurant or at, at the park. At the restaurant, at the park, or yeah. outside the yard. Exactly. Talk there and then close the gate and go back. Sure. Because no friends allowed inside. Even your wife, when your wife brings friends, and then you, your friendship at, in your house, it doesn't last long. It becomes sour. It becomes sour. Very yeah. soon, it becomes sour. You start Because again. of what you brought in your house. What I'm saying here, you want to live poverty. Mm. Ask me as Babu Togotela. I, I do have a friend, but my friend is one, is Lungani Kuela. Oh, Lungani Kuela. Lungani Kuela. Yes, the yes, reason yes. why, he's mentally handicapped. That is why I prefer him. <laughs> he doesn't think things straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. he's, a, he's a best friend of mine I see him every three months mm. and most of my friends I see them every three months, nine months mm. I call them every two months Sure, those are my best friends I call them just to check how you yes, do my yes, those are best friends mm. and the other friend of mine is Muslim Kiz he's also a, a friend of mine he's living at Ink area there's, in, in Deben there's a place called Ink he mm. doesn't come to my house. We hardly talk on over the phone. And this is how we're supposed to have friends. Not friends who are like your children. This is how we talk about friends. Mm. Babu Dr. Babu says, says, poverty has brought friends into your life to destroy you. Babu Dr. is here to tell you about your friends. That even though I've got motive to help you, but do something about your friends. Babu Dr. says, do something about your friends. Thank you, Mabuto Hotel. Now, let us talk about the removal of a purple tree. It's a very nice fruit. People like it. Uh, I'm sure it's all over Deben. Yeah, monkey likes it. <laughs> <laughs> and people still yes, like it. Yes, yes, yes. So, your advice is to remove this kind of tree and plant the tree or a plant of wealth. Can you just. Purple tree. Yes. Popo tree, <laughs> it is very edible. It is very edible, it is palatable, it is nice, it's mm. very juicy. It's tasty, yeah. Very, it tastes very nice. Yeah, but you, you cannot, we cannot tolerate to see you planting the tree in your house because we have identified people who have planted the trees of that particular plant mm. called popo. Especially to, to Africans and Indians, it doesn't gel well. Colored people, it doesn't gel. It only gel well to, to European people. But the other people of a skin color, it does not gel well. Because I, I traveled to Wentworth area. I saw houses where they planted purple. And then look at the house. The paint is peeling. The roof is dark. The gate is broken. Because of the spirit. Because they are spirit. People don't understand. Spirit, they work with a signal. And then Popo alone, it beams out a signal that you can come here, I'm here, you can come here, I'm here. Wow. Because there are spirit of poverty that requires some form of plantation in your house. Mm. You must have a, some form of plantation. Even things that you are, you've got in your, in, in, in your yard, stone, whatever, anything. And then some things are, are inviting demons to come into you. Mm. And same thing applies to Popo. They are spirit of poverty that like to dwell on the particular tree so that even that you can call in younger and they'll remain, they'll call people to come and pray, they'll remain as long as the tree and then they're still ordained to be there. 
Mm-hmm. When they leave, they're always able to circulate you and then come live in that particular tree and make sure that they start to root out things in your house. And you've got to be careful when we say that when we have to plant, we got seeds here. These seeds, this is a seed of a tree of wealth. Right. You get the seed, you plant the seed, you change your life. But for people who are serious, not for people who are renting a one-bedroom house, hoping that, you know, the money that you'll charge for this, you cannot afford it if you are renting a one-bedroom house. You must have something serious, a house, and then say, Baptist Gautel, I want to plant that seed, and I'm cutting down all these purpose because we just said that they invite the, the dark spirit. Mm. Cut down that popo. It's not good for you. Thank you. But can we still eat popo if eat remember it, I can buy it from the supermarket or the market? Yes, eat it. Even if you've brought one, you can I should, I should be eating it by, by now. Oh yes. Yeah, yes, but yes, the yes. problem is is to plant it because when you plant it, they work like a signal. So okay. actually they, they will be able to, these uh, dark spirits they will be able to trek through cool. these trees and then they'll come and dwell in that particular house. I'm happy that you can still eat popo. <laughs> but not to plant it in our yes. Thank you very much, Dr. Our houses look like abundant buildings <laughs> <laughs> because of that, Papa. Thank you yes. very much, Dr. But Dr. there's a man called Pastor Demande. <laughs> who is that man? That man is a man of God. He's a yes. man of the hour. It's a man who believes in God. Yes. Uh, I said, let me call him and see if I can find him. Pastor Demande. Yes. If he's available, he's available. If he's not available, it's one of those things. We just have Maybe to Maybe he's going to it. pray for us as well. Yes. He have to be praying for people because we find out that people, they don't like to pray. They are depending to other people to pray for them. Even a Muslim, yes. in their mosque, they put a cassette there because they, they are getting tired now, praying five times a day. They put Baba, demand. Baba, we see Baba Chabri, let's see, go YouTube live, and I'm going to say, tell us, we're going to demand, we're going to call you, and we're going to call you, Miss Kuba no Baba O in the town, Kulunko, Lindo de Missy, Window de Scati, Ubaba Ukupin in Dow. Is Ogni and Northwest Baba? A Northwest Baba. Who said Northwest? He said Northwest. Miss Kuba won't demand the school man as well. This was a bear way in Northwest. As Kuma in Debel Baba. Oh, in Debel. Where were you in a Northwest? Oh, my sons. Oh, Debel Baba. On demand the Baba Maswas, Bapin Baba Mandebel, when's the Ganja name? Uh, Abba Zadiba, but you can adapt and not so as businesses shall not call out. Okay. Do the Ungulu, the Scottish Oxes, or Kulega Manja, Ungulu, or Patti say in Gwen? Baba Ungulu, or Patti say, Simos of Neta Bandu, Kulu, or Kulego, Kibu, and you want the Ushole Labat. And the Dangulu could be no cool man, no mundula, or T Uno Moya, where O Kipa is this. At Tibabun de Bandagana Musagan Kulegela in Usagan Sazayan, you know, Moya, O Kipa is the spirit of apportion. And then it has the spirit of apportion alone, it also do apportion in your prosperity and success. Aukulum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And but you may say in Lua, since she no thing or Lulu Lungan, it's like any slashes is a sewer macabong as tennis and assassins, the slash, Sansa to tell it. Messamundo, Messa Gutel is a spirit of arrest. Utoting and Zak is a bosch. Why in a wea bosch? Why in a indoor I I fun will kuluma, Yabo Pegat, your husband beating the shoot and Zakshon, Guamalizak is Yabo Pegat. Among me, when Laba Suga called Baham, the Bebo Pe is slash and Mutin. Utinumundo on a spirit of arrest. Baham, the 
bayofuna izinto ukuthola ukuthi bese into ebambili into engaphakathi ufuna kube khona inhlabuluko umuntu ayenzayo ukuthi mawuhleli naye phansi nexoxa libonisana akwazi ukukhululeka umuntu eyidweni bezibophekile eh njengandibanda uyindebele kunomuntu ozothume kuzwa o Osekhemton Park athi bangidobela awukho ukuthi kakhulu nami ngiwumfundisi nginebandla ende ibandla lami liyanonxuzuleka ngoba eh ezinye izinto ezenziwe emhlabeni angikunukula kanga ngivuma ngokuthi ngizenze uthini kumuntu omfundisi ofuna ukukhulisa ibandla lakhe angakwazi ukufika kwenu angakwazi ukufika kwenu ba mhm Ngiyaqoba ngibanda ngoba ukushilo ukuthi kuna into ezingawudinga umkhuleko sinobufakazi otherwise eh umkhaba wehlisa omkhuleko udinga amakhamba kwehlisa umkhaba Unjalo baba Eh kuna izinto nje ezingawudinga nje umkhuleko okucaca ukuthi lo mkhaba wakho lo usudinga ukuthi uexercise uthole amakhambi azokwazi ako green tea ako herbal life azokwazi ukuthi ehlise umkhaba lo nothi noma ngakhuleka ukuthi ngeke uzwehla umkhaba engisho ukuthi angifuna ukufika la kwilevel ukuthi ngibe sathi siye ba confuse kodwa kuna izinto vese ezingawudinga nje umkhuleko awukho umkhuleko ekuphasi esikoleni ningani mengafuna ukuthi adish ingana izwane nencwadi icishe uTikTok no Facebook legcwele kuwona eh lo nda idinga ukuthi ngazo khulu ingana ayifunde nje incwadi zawo lezo enazo esikoleni Demande ukuphi nendawo eOkni ngikapha le Okni kunalo mfulo omkhulu lo wena anusi awunhlubu la mfulo lo mkhulu omkhulu angaya Sasa ngizobuza ukuthi kune golf course enhle lapha nabe sifike sibake khona imoto senzele into eyethe ngashe ukuthi yini ebusuku. Eh ukuye kule golf course? Ngiye babi impela nje kule golf course. Njoba le golf course ethu zomfula njalo kwenze umfula uflade. Okay, ndimanda usinika inamba yakho mkhulu esizo abazokuthola ke yona abantu abafuna ukuze Okni. Inamba yami mkhulu 072 072 664 664 70 70 59 59. Yebo ba. Sibonga kuba dotel babe sizwe namhlanje besikhuluma nomfundi odada kankulu nkulu into ethe partisiwe e ise Northwest endaweni ase Okni. Eh, so tell you what you can get in is what you pay tennis at Thank you very much, Papa Togotela <coughs> and uh, Obaba Undiman, the man of God from Northwest. Yes. Yes. Papa Togotela, let us move now to the Archangel. Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> that is how we're talking in our churches. It's yes. Archangel Gabriel. <laughs> but now you want to tell us something about this angel. There is a <coughs> a five ranking high ranking angels mm. who are inside the throne of the most high god five rankings yeah, five high ranking angels those angels 
literally that 25 but i'm precising taking these five high-ranking angels that are inside the throne of god and there's archangel raziel there's archangel gadiel not gabriel gadiel gadiel the difference <laughs> about gadiel and raziel it is vast number one Raziel is an angel of God that is holding a book that writes all the secrets of the heaven. That is Archangel Raziel. But let's talk about Archangel Gadiel. Archangel Gadiel and Archangel Gabriel, that, mean, that, that ministry is different. That, that tasks are completely different. Mm. Reason why in the five high-ranking angels, high-ranking angels of God, there is Archangel Gadiel. Archangel Gadiel is the same as the minister of the presidency. Hmm. The, the, inside the office of the president, there's a minister. Yeah, definitely is. Yeah, there's a minister. And then that impartation of the knowledge is, a, is the knowledge of the angels. Inside the throne, there's also an angel who functions as a minister of God. He, he, he administers all the angels that are inside the throne. That angel, his name is Gadiel. Not Gabriel. Mm -hmm. It is Gadiel. That's why I always call this channel a university of life. <laughs> <laughs> we are studying now. Yes. Reason why we are revealing Archangel Gadiel. Archangel Gadiel has got so much authority that cannot be contested beside God. Mm. He's got so much authority. When you are invoking uh. the spirit of the, of the Archangel Gadiel, you are only invoking the spirit because everything that you have asked in the realm of the prayer is not happening. Mm. Now, you are compelling Archangel Gadiel to fulfill your prayers. That angel Gadiel, it, 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 it bends all the rules. Even that you have committed an abortion, you have killed somebody else, you have committed fraud, you have lied to people who have been bad on earth. You've been rejected left, right, and center. Wherever you go to church, people, they cast you out because your father is a Sangoma. They cast you out because your mother is a Sangoma. They, they always got something to say about you. And then you always feel alone or isolated. Mm. That is whereby when you invoke this angel, we have to teach you how to invoke. Because there are people in ministry, they work very hard. They've been in a, a, a Bible college for four to five years. But... Anything they touch, it melts down. Mm. People are no longer growing a church. You've been praying as a man of God. You went to the mountain and you fasted. Nothing happened. You went to Nyangas to use the moti. Nothing happened. And now it is the right time now to come into your senses and ask Babu Dawotel, Babu Dawotel, I've tried it all. Now I need to use the angel called Gadiel. I need to invoke that angel so that whatever is distracting me, that angel must sort it out. Yes. Archangel Gadiel is a sole angel to do that. There are other angels, but this one, he compels the angels to do things that we, uh, they were refusing to do. But once you report your matter to Archangel Gadiel, mm -hmm. not Gabriel, your request will be fulfilled. Not now, not tomorrow, immediately. This is Archangel of the Lord called Archangel Gadiel. Let's correct the spelling. And then people, they went on YouTube or on the internet, they pick up the photo of Archangel Gadiel, the beautiful angel said, no, 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 this angel is not Gadiel. Gadiel, it, it does not have two eyes. If it's a powerful angel, it must have six wings. Six wings. It must be a seraphim uh, legion. All right. It must be an a throne angel. It must be a four-headed angel. It must be an angel who does not sleep. And now people, they said, Bob Daughter, we've picked up Archangel Gatiel. They just show me a white uh, gentleman holding a gift. No, 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 no. no. When you talk about uh, angels, angels are not uh, uh, what we are, uh, what, 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 what we know. They are different. They are different. As I'm saying, those are four-headed angels with 70,000 uh, eyes, eyes all over the body. And they're so vast. They're so huge. Sure. They're so huge. They cannot speak. Problem they cannot speak. Like Archangel Gadiel, he cannot speak. When he speak, he starts to praise. Oh, yeah. You don't understand this. When he speak, he praises. He give, he give praise to God. That is why God cannot tolerate him to leave the throne. Mm. 
Because when you ask something to God, when he, when he says to God, he gives praise. And God entertains that, that worship and literally release whatever. Right? Because he's an angel that cannot speak. You cannot find him in a canteen talking, gossiping, or playing snook. Mm. Because he got no authority to leave uh, uh, heaven. He cannot leave the throne. Mm. Because he's one of the angels who were created with Lucifer who could not speak. Not only Lucifer could not speak, it's that so many angels were dumb, but when they're trying to speak, they start to release uh, <coughs> the worship to God. And the archangel, Gadiel, we are revealing the secret of the Most High God about these angels, that you, as a person on earth, we have to partake to that power and then accept that. Okay, let me, let me say this, let me say this, let me say this. There is someone now, he is mini, in ministry, he's a woman of, the, a woman of God, mm. That woman is going to try to invoke this angel. But before you try to invoke the angel, and then there's something that is going to take over, you feel like you can start to praise God, praise God for an hour. And you must know that that angel has literally accepted you. You don't have to ask anything. You must just praise God as much as your body can tolerate. Because that angel, that is how it works. Archangel Gadiel does not speak. Mm. And then even he comes to you with a dream. You'll be in a worship situation like crazy. But when he comes, he comes in chorus. They comes in thousands, same time. But they don't speak to you. They give praise to God. They sing at all times. When they speak, normally like greeting each other, but they give praise to God. And then I'm seeing that woman, when you try to invoke this angel, the worship will take over. Right. That is Archangel Gadiel. Thank you very much. Thank you, Baba uh, Why don't you ask the question now? Do I pray to Gadiel the same way I pray in my church? <laughs> <laughs> or there is a, a special way, something that I need to do? Uh, no, no, don't pray to angels. It is, uh, no, 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 don't pray to angels. Angel, do never, you are not supposed to pray to angels. Or you pray to God. Yes, you pray to God. Right. Uh, like, we also got uh, the Honorable President, CR17. Mm. I call it CR17 because of this money that has been discovered. Mm. And then him and a policeman, that are two different things. Right. You just respect mm. the law and then the policeman will walk away. Simple as that. Exactly. And then you respect the high-ranking office of Honorable Cyril Maposa compared to the policeman. Exactly. Your angels are in that level with God. Mm then you do not have to worship, uh, the, pray, to, pray to the angel. You, you invoke the angel. You invoke the angel or don't pray to the angel. You invoke the angel. You invoke the angel. But when, when Gadiel responds, uh, listen to me carefully now, when he responds and the prayer starts to take off, people who've been affected by this uh, angel Gadiel, Unfortunately, now my cameraman just repented to a Muslim, Islam. You know, are Muslims. Hmm. That is why they came to attend us. That if you have met a, a real Muslim, they're in constant prayer. They're holding something like this. I don't know what this is. They run with something like this at all times because hmm. they've been affected by the angel. That angel demands worship and prayer. Wherever you are, you pray for this situation, you pray for this meeting that you are engaging into, that everything must end well. Hmm. That is an angel that pollute you with prayers and then in islam they've been affected by this angel but they don't know that they've been polluted by this angel that at all time there must be in con constant prayer mm. you, you can think that you, they are praying to their prophet no it's not about the prophet they don't even know that the angel has taken over i remember uh, nj's story when he was about to leave the angel started to take off. And then people were uh, so close to him, they said, when you were talking to angels, totally, as much as you were talking to him, you will be talking to some, someone else. Exactly. You'll be starting to pray. You'll be starting to give praise. Because that angel was always there because they were pre-playing mm. for his office. Yeah, Archangel Gadiel, you do not pray to angels. You invoke the angels. But your pastor cannot tell you this. Thank Zabuka. you. Thank you, Lord. This is deep. Uh, we have come to the end of our show today. We thank you, Bob Dawatella, and the viewers at home. Thank you very much, Bob Dawatella. You are welcome. Thank you very much, viewers.